Hi, it's Feltus Angel. Follow my journey building an entertainment business. So hi, yes, um, welcome to the video. Thanks for clicking. Um, right now I'm gonna go through an update and let you guys know how I've been doing with my business. Uh, I have some notes that I have taken and I'm gonna be uh, looking at them from time to time just to keep me on track to make sure that the video doesn't get into a long ranty mess. So let me get my notes. Okay. And, all right, and I will squint a little because m my vision is uh, not 100%. Let me just see, maybe. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no, we're getting, <laughs> we're losing. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I have a good idea. I have some tape, and I'm just going to tape it to my um, tripod and see if that helps me. Ooh, a little cheat there. So my eyes will avert to my notes. Okay. What I'm going to do for the update, letting you guys know about what's been going on with the business behind the scenes, um, just so you can get an idea of what I'm working on. And this is also good for me to look back later on to see the steps that I'm taking and also like any places where I may be, steer, I may be making mistakes and places where I may be thriving and doing the right thing okay so um, right down to business okay <laughs> so um, I'm gonna break it into two sections the first section is gonna be my struggles and then the second section is going to be my um, victories I want to talk about the things that I'm really doing that are really helping my business um, and uh, you know trying to formulate it and, and make it um, something that can be real turning this idea into reality basically so okay my struggles the first and foremost struggle that I face is getting in front of the camera <laughs> so difficult oh god <laughs> um, there's so much to it. It's like getting in front of the camera is not just, for a lot of people, I think maybe maybe our world is just changing so much. It's getting easier and easier for people. But a lot of people who are used to the old school, you know, being in front of the camera used to be for a certain amount of people, like people who are celebrities, people who are stars, and just the average person just didn't get in front of the camera. People were actually more afraid of taking pictures and being and more afraid of getting in front of the camera. Um, and there were just a few people who enjoyed being in front of the camera. Now for myself, I used to love being in front of the camera and I, I guess I had more confidence in my physical appearance. And you know, as I've gotten older, I have been a little bit more withdrawn. I don't really concentrate on my looks as much. And so I, I'm very self-conscious about my image. So I don't take as many pictures anymore and I don't play in front of the camera and I don't, I don't even play with makeup as much as I used to, which I really would love to get back into. It's so much fun. Um, to play with makeup and, and st hairstyles and things like that. I used to love doing that stuff and, and I do want to get back into it. So that's something that I've been really struggling with. The thing is to this idea of the perfection that you need to be in front of the camera. That is so hard to try to like figure out like how to look perfect in front of the camera like to how do you do that how do you look perfect in front of the camera when you don't feel like perfect when you don't feel great and you're like sick or in the case in the last few months since my last video i had like an eye infection or something i wouldn't call it inf it wasn't infectious to other people but it certainly looked bad and it was all swollen and everything and it hurt so much. There was no way you would get me to put any makeup on that. And then for some reason I got like this incredible breakout. It was, it's like I just went through puberty. I still have some, I think I have another 
one right here that was huge on my face and instead of like oh I'm waiting until my face and my skin clears up and everything looks perfect but it just never you know it's never gonna be perfect oh I also had like a little like it wasn't a sore but it was like uh, like like a pimple right here and it looked like a sore or something it looked horrible <laughs> I did not want to be in front of the camera so that was uh, it, it, like a series of things that happened I also got a little sick um, and I've been feeling a little bit under the weather you know body stiffness back pains that kind of stuff so all those little things they're they're really more like excuses right they're excuses that I kind of use to say okay I can't be in front of the camera or hey you know being in front of the camera is just not something I'm ready to do today and I don't know what it was but I took the leap and I, I've been planning to do videos but again it's you can plan all you want it's the courage to actually do the video that really takes makes the difference there's also like dealing with daily stuff like physical imperfections that you may have um i also gained five pounds five extra pounds <laughs> and i'm like what how did that happen um it just kind of snuck up on me as it five pounds always does right it's it's always the five pounds right it's like it's not the ten pound ten pounds happens like over a long period but it's the it's the five pounds that adds up you know and then all of a sudden you're 30 pounds overweight and you're like oh god how did that happen um, and so yeah there's there's a lot of things and a lot of excuses yeah I, I was watching someone do a video the other day with like a, a neck brace on basically and honestly it, it shook me because I'm like he's making videos with a neck brace on like I have no excuse so I'm building up to the fact that hey there is no excuse for not making a video even if your eye is swollen even if you have a, a breakout and all of a sudden you have like uh, you know or you have body pains or things aren't working out right you have to I have to I have to drop the excuses so those are challenges that I am facing um, one of the other things that I'm facing right now is time management like trying to manage my day job along with the the process of making videos and things like that it's really tough to do it all but um, I'm I am you know working on that that's something that I'm working on and eventually I'll come to um, some sort of harmony with time management and the things that I want to do and another challenge that I have been having right now especially for videos on this channel is creating a template that will work for a lot a few of my other channels I have a template on how videos are produced and that you know I record what I need to record and then I kind of just drop them into place another key element for those other channels is that I'm not in front of the camera so it I'm able to make content much easier but having a template really would keep the structure right and I'm also not sure about all the different contents that oh I'm not sure about all the different content that I want to have on this channel so that's gonna really make a difference so it's gonna take me I have to uh, the solution really is giving myself enough time to make enough videos and discover like exactly what kind of template that's going to be I do have a full-time job so um, again that runs close to like the the time management um, like trying to figure out the time management with with my full-time job and um, my projects and, and the business that I want to build it's very very difficult to do that as well and, and and as well like keeping up with friends who have like birthday parties and like get-togethers and and not alienating myself from the rest of the world that's uh, 
you know, <laughs> it's really, really um, a hard task to do. Um, to, to just have like a full life and at the same time do this extra thing that I want to do. So those are my challenges. Um, so now I'm going to talk about my victories. Woohoo! Victories. <laughs> I got the victories. I got the victory. <laughs> Maybe that'll be like <laughs> a segment in my videos. So my victories. Well, one big victory and one big thing that I need to like clap myself, you know, give, pat myself on the back for is that I haven't stopped doing this. I haven't stopped working on things, even behind the scenes, just working on it. There's a lot you don't see. There's a lot of planning going on, a lot of things that I'm doing. And so I'm really happy that I haven't stopped, I haven't given up. Uh, and even though I may have excuses for not being in front of the camera, I am still working behind the scenes. I haven't given up. So that's one great, great victory for me. So my next big victory is that I've identified my challenges. My biggest challenges, I've just identified them. So, and, and I've just in, identified them in this video. So that's really, really great. Like, um, that means that knowing who the enemy is, I know what weapons I need to use in order to, to fight against the enemy. We're taking this in the terms of like being on the battlefield, okay? This is... This is intense now. So now that I know who the enemy is, now I know what weapons I need to use. What weapons I need to use? Stop making excuses and be more courageous. Easier said than done when we need to, you know, I'll be trying to put them into practice. Um, and um, we can talk more about that in another video, definitely. My um, other, okay, so what you guys don't know about me is that um, there, there's this channel, but then I have um, six channels that I plan to have in my business total. Um, at this point, there are only three in operation right now. So the first one would be this channel this is the first one i created but it is the lowest ranking one because i haven't put any en energy into making videos consistently okay so and i and i didn't really even have a theme that made sense until like six months ago okay and then um the next thing is the retro nerd girl which i talked to you guys about that is the movie review channel that channel is actually turning three years old okay <laughs> three for three um i've completed about 80 movie reviews and that is just completely stellar and i'm really excited about that because you know that just shows to me proves to me that i have the sticking power to to actually keep going at this this is it may be slow it may be you know, I don't have a lot of subscribers. I have less than a thousand, but I have the people who are subscribed to that channel are so into it. And I love the people it's attracting for that channel. It's, it's, ah. <laughs> so I, I do love that channel. I could get into the full details of Retro Nerd Girl at another time, but that's, that, you know, it's my heart. It's my heart, definitely. The third channel that I have is Leo for Leos, okay? And that is a channel where I do tarot readings for the sign of Leo only. So it's a support channel basically for the sign of Leo, the astrological sign of Leos. Uh, what a lot of people don't know about me is that uh, I've been reading tarot since the 90s, the early 90s, okay? So there you go. A lot of people don't know that about me. I've created many, many tarot cards of my own, my own personal tarot cards and stuff like that. And um, I, again, I'll get into that kind of stuff with you in another time. But this channel, 
uh, Leo for Leos is turning one year old. That channel surpassed 1,000 subscribers and it actually just got monetized. And that was such a really a big incredible feat because um, it, it took a lot of effort on my part to like organize the the monetization it was like a mix up with the emails and stuff and uh, what a big tr what a big mess but it's now sorted and that channel is being monetized so i'm really excited about that um at least so, so one channel down with monetization yes <laughs> all right and the next thing that i really wanted to do is that i've been working on a business plan for years and years and years um, and I finally got, it's a working one, I guess it'll be, you know, if, if you know anything about business plan there, they're always being tweaked and things as the, as you, um, go on with, they're just always being tweaked. And right now, um, I've actually finished my business plan and I'm probably in the next video or so, maybe in a couple of videos, I am going to definitely show you how I created my business plan. Then um, I've been doing a lot of goals, goal setting, so I'll be talking to you guys about goal setting. Oh, okay, so there's a couple of things that I got from Amazon. So let's, my good old Amazon box here. And let me show you. <laughs> Let's show you really quickly. I'll show you really quickly what I got from Amazon. Okay, so first thing I got from Amazon is but this this box of glasses. O M J. Okay. O M J. <laughs> I love these glasses. Okay, so they come in different styles. But they're so cute. Actually, I can now finally see everything. <laughs> they're really cute. And um, I use these as readers. <laughs> this style isn't too bad. This isn't. But you know those ones that are like cut off and they, they look like granny's glasses? Well, we don't want to look like a granny yet. Um, <laughs> not yet. So, uh these are so adorable. I love them. They look like regular glasses. I actually can wear these walking around and, you know, not have a headache or anything. And they're pretty cool. And I don't know if you noticed, but in here, they give you... By the way, I'm not sponsored and I'm, I don't have an affiliate account yet. However, when I do get an affiliate account, I will definitely leave... Um, like affiliate links and stuff for you guys but they even give you shades they even give you shades so like if you're walking around and you need glasses and it's really bright outside those are so important I mean I always keep a, a pair in my purse I love it I love it I love it <laughs> I love it I love it I love it <laughs> it's me being silly okay so I got Yes, guys this is the cutest thing okay let's see if I have okay I got this guys I got this what is it you, you ask wow this is of course I don't know what I'm doing here so this is a selfie stick okay let's oh, see I don't have it together I really yeah this is a selfie stick Okay, you put the phone in here, right? You put the phone in here, and you can you can twirl this so many. You can have so many different positions. This is actually kind of cool too because you can remove this from here. This is the best part, to be honest. You can move this. And 
if you have one of these things, <laughs> put that on there. This this right here is just worth its its weight in gold right there, just right there. Um, I think it was about twelve thirteen bucks online. Um, all right. Oh, and the best I saved for last. <laughs> the best I saved for last, guys. All right. I've got this in the mail. This is the new book by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. Um, their, their YouTube channel is called Video Influencers. And it's one of those channels that I've been following for years and years and years. Um, because, you know, they just had so much, um, like, information about YouTube. Okay, so it's the ultimate growing the ultimate guide to growing and following and making money as a video influencer. Very cool. Um, I love these guys. Their story is incredible. Um, they're really um, inspiring. There's a lot of people that I watch in this particular industry that, you know, give really good YouTube advice. And um, these guys are really, you know, awesome and in fact this is my first book that I've ever bought from a youtuber so that speaks volumes um, and I just I think really that it's it's one of those things where they discuss principles in here that really goes to speak about the mindset and how to really like make videos that count. I haven't, I just started reading it because I just got it. I can't wait to dig into it and really like piece by piece like get all the juicy information inside. I watch their videos all the time so and probably um, you know it's gonna be a lot of the same stuff but I'm sure they're gonna go into more detail and you know so far, I haven't been uh, disappointed um, for reading the first, let's see, first 25 pages. So, I love it. <laughs> okay, so, now that's it. And guys, that was wonderful. I'm glad to finally be able to share the information with you about, you know, about how things are going and and just express how uh, the struggle has been good and bad and uh, and I can't wait to share more information with you I really can't so without further ado thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and I appreciate your support. And I'll see you in my next video.